GT's going hot and bringing you an update. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. 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 He can't do that! Get off my stuff! What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, that poor house. You're under arrest. Uh, I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. Why am I being charged? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a video from Georgia Transparency. Well, he's talking about a lawsuit that he's filing and uh, exposing all this corruption and unethical behavior from uh, some town in Georgia. Well, why is it always frauditors claim they have all these lawsuits going on and they're exposing all this unethical behavior? Well, I can tell you why. Because they're causing it to happen. They want it to happen. You know, you keep poking the bear and keep aggravating the bear. What do you think is going to happen? The bear is going to attack. So let's sit back, relax, and have a good laugh at this fool's expense. He's got a very interesting criminal record himself. Mm -hmm. so, so his whole notion that he's like supposed to, you have a criminal record. Oh, my goodness. You have a massive criminal record, you know, Clarence. Massive. If someone is out of line or unruly, I can kick them out. Two seconds. And this is what Clarence did the last time he was here. Correct. Also, there are rules. There are specific rules. All comments must be directed to the council directly. He made comments to our city manager, our city uh, clerk. And I said, stop. And he said, well, it's my right. I, I That's hilarious. He's talking about the frauditor not respecting the, the rules of the meeting. Well, since when has a frauditor ever respected anything? or anybody. I find it hilarious that frauditors claim they're fighting for injustice, our rights, our freedoms, but yet they don't have any respect for anybody or the rule of law. Mayor Richard Proctor went as far as playing loud music so the GT could not report on the city. Hold on a second. You're telling me that because the mayor played copyrighted music, say like Garth Brooks or Breaking Benjamin or somebody like that, you mean to tell me you couldn't post that video on YouTube? Are you serious, GT? Because I could tell you you're wrong and you're full of shit. All you're doing is this for money, and that proves it right there. Because I'll tell you this. There is several videos that I did, even though I played copyrighted music, I could not monetize the video, and I still put it out. The revenue from the video will most likely go to the whoever the owns the copyright, and... Even though you are still allowed to play it, it'll either be revenue sharing or just like I said just two seconds ago, they'll get all the revenue. In December of 2023, Richard Proctor retaliated against GT for serving an intent to sue notice to the mayor and reporting on the city. Granville Police Officer Willie Norris issued a criminal citation on behalf of Mayor Proctor. Proctor also told another citizen that he would get the same citation if his video ended up on YouTube. It's amazing. This fool is all about First Amendment rights, freedom of speech, all this other bullshit that they like to spew. But somebody used their logo, his logo, in a video that they did on this fool. And he had the nerve to copyright strike that person, taking away their First Amendment right. So several other channels actually bought this logo and recreated it just to piss off old Rusty Boy. Is there an issue? Yes, okay. Because I'm like confused with not allowed to film in public areas, freedom of the press, stuff like that. So, okay. yeah, that's what I'm just confused of. If, uh, you want to step out here? Oh, no, I'd prefer we do it right here in public. That's another thing I find really hilarious. Why is it when officers say, hey, let's step outside and talk? Oh, I can't do that. Let's talk in public. Well, you're outside. That's public, too, right? Being outside is public. You're not in your in your own backyard. You're not in the backyard of somebody else that you know. You're in the public place. So what's the difference? And the other issue, too, is, which I, is another thing that I find hilarious. If their rights are being violated, 
what, what's the difference if you step outside anyways? And look at that shirt. Holy cow, man. You got to get a man's ear. So how are you feeling? A little tired. Uh-huh. Does your back hurt? How did you know? Well, it's obvious. You know, you're carrying a lot of extra baggage up there. Up here? Oh, yeah. Top floor. <laughs> Listen, Frank, uh, have you ever considered wearing something for support? Now, look at this. Mind you, this is just a prototype. You want me to wear a bra? No, no. A bra is for ladies. Meet the bro. You want to step out here? Oh, no, I want to stay right here, though. You're refusing to step out here with me after I requested you to step out here? But what law have I broke? Am I in the way? No, you're If you tell me a law, Sorry. I'll listen to you. The city's conducting business right here. You see these other folks? Oh. I'm asking you to step out front with me right here. But I haven't so we, interrupted sir, anything. I'm going to ask you one more time. Okay, let's go. Why is it so hard for frauditors just to step outside and state their case to the officer? Say, hey, this is what I believe I'm doing is correct. I know I understand you're, you're not sure, or I understand you're telling me I can't be on there. But let me argue my case for a few seconds with you and hear my side. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you say that to the officer, the officer is going to be more than willing to listen and say, hey, I agree with you, but here's the thing. You can't be in there. And the other thing, too, is if you step outside, you're not going to create a scene there where the two people or whoever else is there waiting to get business done, they won't get distracted. They'll do their thing. They won't forget anything because you know as well as I do, if there's something happening, like if somebody's causing a scene or something, and you're watching it, you're going to forget what you came there for, and you're going to leave. Oh. All right. So the city has uh, passed the ordinance here in, in Grant that you can't be filming on uh, sidewalks and oh, out okay. here like that. And uh, actually, no video recording without permission in the city of Grant Field, section 35 158. Uh, for movie, TV, advertising, and or production company, use of city streets and or sidewalks. Use of city street, sidewalk park, or other city owned property by any movie, TV, advertising, production company, filming. Any city shall be permitted only upon approval by the mayor and city council. Following okay. the application, set forth the days, times, and scope okay. of the intended use. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to issue you a citation. You have your day in court. So, right now, I need your ID. I don't have it on me. I'll give you my information, though. That's fine. I just don't get it. Why is it every time a frauditor gets asked by an officer, hey, do you, I need your ID? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have it on me. Well, how did you get there, Georgie Porgy? How did you get there? Did you waddle down there? I'm pretty sure you drove. So, where's your ID? And the other thing is, and I'm not sure of every state law, but aren't you supposed to carry some kind of form of ID at, on you at all times? I mean, what happens if something happened to you? What happens if a bus hit you, you fell over of a heart attack? I mean, you're kind of big, so that could happen. But what happens if something medically happened to you where you're unresponsive they have an ID. They could look you up and say, oh, this guy has a heart condition. Or, you know what I mean? How you that doing? goes on YouTube, you're in violation next. Really? Seriously. Have you, you ever seen me put anything on YouTube? No, you haven't. I haven't. Then talk to him, not me. Okay. So you're making another oh, false I'm accusation. <laughs> if you do what he does, you're on YouTube, you're on, on a violation next. You've never, He's a producer. He produces films. You've never seen me put anything on YouTube, have you? No one has. Mm -hmm. No one's ever seen me put anything on YouTube. No, I know you haven't. Because I don't put on YouTube. Because you don't do this for to putting this on for money. He does. No. I do this because of personal violations I'm suffering from people that work in the city. That's all my concern is. I don't go around to other cities. I'm concerned about where I live at and what's going on with me. You obviously have no concern for anybody but yourself. And the mayor is there telling you you cannot put this on YouTube to make money off of their images and yet you claim that you're only doing this to prove some kind of violations that happen against you well if you're doing that why are you not going to a lawyer and say hey I have all this evidence my rights were violated I want to file a lawsuit you know why because you're full of shit <clears throat> that's my concern however he harasses people puts it up on YouTube and makes money Hey, Mayor, let me correct you on that. All frauders do that. 
even Georgie's girlfriend, Lonnie, does that. Or should I say it's uh, Liberty Troll's girlfriend? Well, that's between you and him. Correct. That's why he's getting a ticket. I don't know his business. He's violating city law. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Huh? He's considered a producer, and you have to have mayor and city council permission to film on city property. Okay. Now, what about the body cam? Oh, geez, here we go again. The body cam, security cameras, they're all filming without my permission. What about those? Well, they're there for safety. The security cameras are there for safety, just like the body cam is to protect the officer and the person they're talking to. The town is not going to put the body cam footage or security camera footage on YouTube and make money off of it. And they're not going to edit it so heavily so it makes the person look bad, like frauditors do. Uh, that's got personal information on it. Okay, the law says that little bit of a personal information. If it does, that little section has to be deleted or redacted, not the entire conversation. Well, let me ask you a question, Mr. Are you recording me, by the way? Well, of course, so that you don't make any accusations against me. What? What is your concern with that body cam? It's my right to have it. Okay. And there's no legal lawful right to redact it. So. Well, the problem is if it has personal information, that will be redacted. That I little, that little tiny bit. If someone says their date of birth, just that little section that says date of birth gets redacted. Everything else has to be there. You know that. That's another thing I don't understand. He's there crying about privacy and that stuff with information and being redacted. Well, what about the frauditors that take people's information, like say their cell phone, their house phone, their addresses, and post it all over YouTube and say, hey, you shouldn't call these people or email them. That's not, that's not the right thing to do. But in all reality, what you're actually saying is call, flood them, email them constantly. Now, the image quality of this video that's coming up is kind of horrible. I guess it's off his body cam and probably it's covered in sweat. So that's why it looks like it does. So bear with me for a bit. Is this going to be much longer? I know I shouldn't be detained longer than it's necessary for y'all to complete y'all's investigation. Yeah, come on, officer. How long is this going to take? I'm hungry. I need to get my gorditos. They're actually having a buy one, get one free sale. And send me on my way. Go ahead and cite me and send me on my way. If that's possible. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So what if Channel 2 rode up here with a camera and started filming on the sidewalk out here? Georgie, there's a big, big, big difference between you and a news station. A news station actually broadcasts the news that's happening. You, on the other hand, broadcast your own bullshit all over YouTube and whatever that channel is that you claim is news. The news stations don't post their videos just on YouTube, just for clicks and views. I don't know. Would y'all write them a citation? I don't know. You don't know? I'm glad you said that. But me, you will. Hmm. I said, but me, you will. George, you're just pissed at the officer for writing you a citation because it's going to cut in your Taco Bell fund. Well, we did. Exactly, y'all did. You know what I mean? So what if I still stay here and film? You were literally too stupid to insult. Well, you've been cited once time before. We'll take you to jail for that. Then. Take me to jail for filming in public? Well, right now I'm going to go ahead and you've been advised of the city ordinance and stuff. Okay. You've also been issued a citation. You have your day in court for it. Okay. okay. Now we're, we're telling you verbally, you know, don't come back up here doing it because from this point on, you've already got been cited. You've got a court case coming up. If you come back up here doing it, you're going to go to jail for it, okay? Okay. I'm going to, so. the last thing I'll leave y'all with and I will get up out of here. Um, under 1983, mm -hmm. a federal lawsuit, I'm putting y'all on notice right now that this strips y'all of y'all's qualified immunity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all have well, a good day. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> you know how many times officers hear the threat of, I'm going to sue you, I'm going to sue you? It's so stupid because the frauditors always threaten a lawsuit, but you never see nothing. You never see the lawsuit. You never see the outcome of it. You never see anything. 
Well, we want to see the proof of the lawsuit, the proof that it's filed. We want to see the proof that you want it. Because if you actually did win the cases, and I'm not just talking about Georgie, I'm talking about all frauders in general. If there's actually proof that you guys won lawsuits, you'd be showing that all over YouTube, all over social media. I was issued a citation for violation of city ordinance 35-158. Narrative this officer wrote was, quote, Mr. Russell C. Pickron was filming inside City Hall and outside per mayor without the city's permission or approval. On June 6, 2024, a lawsuit was filed against Richard Proctor and Officer Willie Norris. Suit alleges the civil rights violations against Russell Pickron. Mayor Richard Proctor not only violated those very same rights he swore to protect, but also admitted to doing so. Why is such a tyrannical mayor allowed to still be in the position he is, and why isn't the DA or state investigating this mayor and the city of Grantville? I find it amazing that these frauditors, if they don't get their ass kissed by all these government employees and government officials, well, then they go around and accuse them, saying, oh, they're tyrants, they're violating my rights, I'm going to sue you, I'm going to have you arrested, you're going to lose your job. It's just utterly bullshit, that's all it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Somebody call the police on these! Somebody call the police! He hit me in the nut. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. Not trailer trash. What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? What are you doing? You put your hands up. This is a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, it is. Who are you, bro? Who are you? Please, please, please. I'm on a public sidewalk, bro. Yes, I am. I'm on a public sidewalk. Call the police. Get your phone out. Call the police. Call the police on this. Hey, hey. This is a sidewalk, bro. Wow. I'm not in jail. Why well, they lock me in the damn room there? It wasn't me. <laughs> What